lavender lilies. Um, I am going to the Georgia Aquarium today and we haven't been in years. So I'm like, okay, might as well go because we really haven't been in like ages. And my mom got free tickets from one of her friends. And she gave us three free tickets for me, my brother, and my mom. So we we're gonna go even if my brother didn't go because like we was putting this off for a long time. Like they expire at the end of December. And we got them like six months ago, like a year and a half ago. So yeah, we we're like, okay, let's just do it. So I'm like, okay, so let me vlog, but, and I'm sorry, I didn't feel like color correcting. So it looks yellow when the light is really like daylight white, but I didn't feel like color correcting, so let me alone. So today we're going and I was afraid because I was like, if I bring my camera, cause you know, I know I can't have flash on because you know, flash does something, you know, to the fish or something, they probably might blind them. Or I'm like, oh, bitch, you just killed me. Like, you know, I don't want to blind a fish and kill it or anything like that. So I'm not going to put flash on. I already know that, but I'm just still nervous. Cause like, I don't want them to walk up to me and be like, oh no, you can't film that. I'm sorry, miss. Um, You can't film that stingray. You have to film under its body. You can't film at the top of it because um, when you film at the top of the stingray, it gives it an allergic reaction or something. I don't know, something. So I'm just like, what? Like all these specific requirements to film or take pictures, I'm not with and I am scared of. So I'm just like, should I take it? But I'm still gonna take it because it's nice. You know, it's gonna be like blue and Mm, it's gonna be like a mood light <laughs> if you watched my last video you know how i love mood lights but um yeah it's gonna be like a mood so i was like might as well just film just take the risk i'm just a big scaredy cat because i feel like it's not gonna be that extreme i'm just thinking that in my head but whatever so yeah we're gonna see some sharks and stuff and yeah you know sharks eating guppies or whatever i'm a shark and i eat guppies i eat guppies for breakfast lunch and dinner <laughs> for dessert i eat scallions bitch <laughs> Hopefully this goes right. I'm probably gonna get my sister filming me a little bit. I have to color correct it though Because I really want to get the blue tints. I don't want it to be off color So I'm bringing my gray card to you know snap a little shot so it can be color corrected I probably might do a video of um, camera settings and you know stuff about the camera if y'all want to see it um, People who want to be YouTube vloggers or anything like that, or, you know if, they, if you want to do um, YouTube for a studio setup. I'll show you my studio setup because I have the whole legit thing camera I'm using the Canon ADD So if y'all want to see a video on like what settings to do for this scene or this scene I got you so just let me know down below in the comments <laughs> Down below go down there and type type right now. So I'm out. That's it. Bye We don't want to be broke. Hey guys, I don't want to be pressing anything. Oh lord. Yeah, get <laughs> we just hang out. Oh, there we go. <laughs> okay, see, now it's back to white. So basically, like I said, it just says no flash. We just can't flash, take flash photography in here, but I can film or whatever and I'll, you know, try to film as much as I can because we haven't been in the aquarium in a while. And Khalees hasn't been since when? Um, preschool. Yeah, since preschool. So, mom, when is the last time you've been? Uh, since when she was in preschool. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Since, that's a long time. Years. And we're about to meet up with my brother because he came and he had his phone on do not disturb so he wasn't answering. There goes AJ. Where? <laughs> Look, you see him? He's walking. There's a little nomad. I know, right? Enhance your aquarium experience. Swim or dive with Nelson. He really is. He's always slow. Like. <laughs> Up today, what's going on here? <laughs> 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 <laughs>
my headphones. Mm. And we were waiting on you. You didn't even call us back. No, because you said we nine. Were yeah, I have. What time was it? it but it, but it wasn't nine, though. <laughs> but it wasn't nine, though. Wait. <laughs> nine, eight, four, five. Uh -huh. Well, we was here at eight. You know, eight talking about so I got here at eight thirty. You told me to be here at seven time. His name is Jack. Oh, okay. How did you know? I'm trying to do this. You know, look, it's fire. You know, this is a for walking game. About to get our Aquarian on. <laughs> Turn the fire on. Uh oh. No. Ignite. You just gotta ignite. Okay. Oh my God. 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 Alright, freestyle. Mm. One, two, three. Right. I want to go to where you go. Isaiah, are you hungry? Are you hungry right now? I did not eat. Really? <laughs> seriously? Yeah, seriously. What do you think was going to happen? <laughs> I know, it's not a dive. Like, tropical diver. Where is See, I don't even remember how it looked, though. Yeah, I thought this was like an airport. <laughs> I'm going to Doug. I'm going to Doug. Right there, Cafe Aquaria. <laughs> Cafe Aquaria. You want to go to eat? Cafe Aquaria. Yes, mother. I'm, I'm so glad. Yes, I'm going to go see what they have in there. We're starting hungry. off eating. Like, you want me to walk around these trans all these attractions right, to and be hungry? Virtual Voyager. Oh, oh yeah. Tired. I got in late. I got in at 2 a.m. I got in at 2 a.m. Okay? And guess what I had to do? Because Matt is coming to town. I had to clean my room because I can bring my camera in there. No. It looks like something you don't bring the camera into. I had to get home. 2 a.m. He's still talking about eating. There's just a lot of things going on right now. And then I got to get here at 9. So I woke up and And then she's just looking at a map. Like, everybody's just in their own world. I don't understand. Like, it's just, hey, yeah. You're tired. You know where we're going. It doesn't matter what, 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 what's in what. It's just so fucking up. Hey, hey, take my picture. Y'all took my picture. <laughs> Y'all take my picture. It's a video, so. Oh, oh, so. <laughs> this, is, this is the cafe. This is what we're working right now. It's not even open. I guess. Yeah, it's not. Oh, over there. It's like a buffet. There is nothing for me to eat, and I'm upset. So let's go. <laughs> He's really hungry right now. So. Uh, and then it's it's just regular. I'm just um, <laughs> <laughs> You the one. We straight. <laughs> He's the only one who ate. I mean, who didn't eat. Like, Dodo said it was hard for him to get up this morning. All this, this fish. <laughs> All these fish, you gonna think about eating them? <laughs> yeah, take them out. Uh, <laughs> reach in there and grab them. Take a bite. <laughs> <laughs> we ready. We ready now. Yeah, we can a tour. Yeah, little brother, I'm ready for the tour. We need to, cause she know the ends now. Uh, we get behind the scenes. There is no maze. We get behind the scenes, right. yeah. We, we, we VIP up in here, yeah. We Why VIP in the aquarium. The they abusing the animals. <laughs> Look, Look we, we VIP. We gonna see little flipper, little flip. No, you gonna see them abusing the animals, making sure yeah. they stay in their cages. Right. And they're, look. How they train that sea lion? They probably beat them by. It seems like, boy, you better not act up today. <laughs> Every exit we go to, as soon as we exit. <laughs> you said it's based on science? Yes. No magic. There's no magic. In, there's no magic in Christmas. Just science. Consumer knowledge. She's gonna be down in five minutes. She's gonna explain to us about animals. Act like you're interested, okay? I'm gonna try. Oh my god, this is oh, okay. I'm gonna try to do my best. I, I, I'm, I'm interested. Yeah, I know she gave the tickets. Grunts. I'm gonna do my Buy best. Buy humbug. Look at that. Like, you better act like you would be by behind, behind the scenes. This is top flight. What? This, what this is this is top. This is VIP status. Oh, up yeah, here. We're gonna go where they put the water. We, we're gonna we're gonna go. Pipes. 
We're gonna, we're gonna speak the flipper. Fake Take so notes. We're gonna have a quiz, and I'm quizzing y'all. At the end, it's gonna be a quiz. You gonna quiz me? Uh, yes. Oh, that's Pay attention. Quiz. Pay attention, please. There is no prize. Dinner. You hungry, ain't you? Dinner is breakfast time. Okay. Breakfast. You <laughs> <laughs> Something to eat. Food. Right. So you quizzing us? I'm quizzing y'all. All of us. Okay. Yes. How was the score? How are the scores gonna be made? Okay, can only one win? Because that means only one no, person has to eat it. So you mean you still like the only one to eat? That's so, cause we full, we ate breakfast. <laughs> so, pay attention. I'm laughing, pay attention. On me. I see that whale shark over there. Is that it? Did he fart or something? Why did you leave? No, he's my enemy. He's my enemy now. Okay. We don't, we can't. So only one of us can eat. Yeah. Only one. You got a battle. See, I got a battle. The battle is on. Whatever answers the most questions that I'm going to give to y'all. You don't give me questions. Are you capable of asking questions? I am. You going to ask me some questions. This is going to be interesting. So I'm going to ask y'all to see if y'all paying attention. So at the end of the tour, at the end of the tour, I'm going to be like, yeah, do you remember what was? I'm like, do you remember? <laughs> and then whoever answers the most questions correctly no. gets to eat. You know what? I was thinking, I don't think I'm participating. Yes. You got it. Okay. Because I know when I ask you the question, I'll be like, and I answer it, and you go be like, is that, are you sure? And I'll be like, are you sure? And you're not going to remember. Sure, right. And you're not going to know. Yes, I am. Or, or you're going to be like, yeah, it was something yes. else. And then I'm going to be no, like, I'm no, not. it was definitely this. Yeah. And you're going to be like, this. I'm not going to say Merry Christmas to Santa. He's going to say Merry Christmas to Santa. He should be in the workshop. He's just down. Why would he be the one that dresses as Santa here? Yeah, for real. I think so, too. I mean, he's the only person that fits the Santa Claus bill. Unless they just... I want to wear my BB gun. A BB gun. Okay. 
Don't you look at me. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's, okay, it's artificial. Coral is a living uh, animal that needs a lot of oxygen and light, and so this is not set up for that. Yeah. So they have kind of like artificial things. Okay. But the fish don't know any different. They think it's not. Have some eels over here. Electric eels? No, electric eels are actually freshwater uh, fish. <laughs> She's like, no. <laughs> Good try. Right. Good try. There you go. Oh, okay. Oh my god. Look at him with the rocks. No. <laughs> yes, he is. He looks kind of like he camouflaged. Yeah, he nah. <laughs> to me, he do look like it. That's okay, mom. <laughs> like if he wasn't looking really that close, you would think that that's part of the display. Yes. Yes, yeah. mom. Yeah, I agree with you. I agree with you. If he was in that, but he's over there. Kind of like Eels like to kind of live inside little uh, crevices and things like that. And they are horrible animals to be bitten by. They have two sets of jaws. Uh, they have uh, jaws back into their throat. So they'll like lean forward, grab with their front teeth, and then pull it back some. And then the back jaw will come forward and grab and pull Ooh. it back. Oh my god, they sit crazy. <laughs> Well, they don't play. They want to eat. They're serious. Yeah, you don't want to get bit by meals. No good. Never stick your hands in holes in the water. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. Cool. What kind are these ones? Right? These are white spotted jellies. They have, if you see some of them have like darker bodies. Mm -hmm. Jellyfish, uh, sea anemones, and coral are all related and they usually have a symbiotic relationship with an algae. So the dark coloring you see is the algae that's living inside of them. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, I'm like... Wow. Wow. I could just, like, sit here all day and really look, and look at them. It's very relaxing. It is. Oh my god, I know, right? <laughs> wow. This is the living coral. The real coral. Florida Keys aims to restore some of the Oh my god, I really like they're floating like above us. That's what they are. Like <laughs> so cool. Oh my god.
there is some equipment and things in there that we have to kind of not touch. Okay. areas for our jellyfish. Jellyfish tend to be very short-lived. Oh, so, um, yes, yeah, uh, it depends. So, some of them are only a few months, honestly. They don't live very long. Some of them it's several months, you know, it's, but because they have shorter lifespans, we do have to propagate them here. So this is just a small quantity of them, but you can see they're called chrysals. Yeah. The bottom of the habitat is actually well, curved. That's because jellyfish have no brains and they would get stuck in corners and we would have to constantly be in there getting them out of there. Oh, they just kind wow. of react to their environment and move with the current. Wow. These guys are one of my favorites. These are pajama striped squid and they blend in with that their surroundings really, really well. Um, most squid and octopi can do that. They have chromatophores in their skin that allows them to change uh, color really easily. Also, some of them can change the texture of their skin, so they can really match what they're doing. Wow. A lot of those, there's a bunch of squid down there, and it's hard to tell, okay, but see. they look yeah. like rocks, the yes. way they set themselves up. But almost right. all those little white things that have little orange right oh, here, those are all out. squid. Wow. wow. This is one of our shark and ray nursery areas. So we have baby shark for rays. This is where they come. This is also where we grow our mangroves. Oh, nice. This is a young zebra shark. Oh, wow. There is some young rays and another shark over that way. Oh, wow. Zebra sharks hatch with stripes. But then as they get older, they start to get spots. And so eventually they don't have stripes anymore at all. They just have spots. So these guys are kind of in between right now, where their spots are formed yeah. and their stripes haven't faded yet. This is where we have some of our new coral coming in. Coral is, yeah, we, we will add it to our wall over here. Um, oh, wow. Coral is very sensitive. Um, it's illegal to touch coral in its natural environment. Um, so what we have to do is kind of grow our own. So there is uh, places off the coast of Florida where we do a coral restoration project uh, where certain fragments of staghorn and elkhorn coral, which is the fastest growing type of coral, they will actually grow off of little fragments. And scientists have created an adhesive that they can use to put it on another substrate. So they have taken pieces of our staghorn and elkhorn coral and brought it out to the Florida uh, coastline oh and started growing more coral. Oh um, we used to have a place off the coast of Fiji where they would allow you to put substrate down and grow your own coral over a number of years and then go back wow. and gather it from there. But I think that program is ending uh, now. Yeah. So this is our newer coral. They will, uh, you, we call them Christmas trees. They're kind of like those mobiles that you see hanging over babies' cribs. Yes. And it allows the coral to get 360 degrees food, water, oxygen, light as it moves in all its different ways. And it just increases that growth a little yeah. bit more. So it's really helpful. Take you over by the vet center. Okay. Um, you want to do that? Okay. Yeah. Y'all yeah. remember the big habitat? Uh -oh. Ocean Voyager habitat with the whale yes. sharks and the This room that we're going to walk through is one of the rooms that has all the filtration units and pumps for uh, that big habitat. That's a okay. 6.3 million gallon habitat. It's massive. It's one of the largest in the world. Ooh. So it's going to be a little bit loud.
another process that will change it again, you know, something to do with the most natural processes that we can do to get that water back to its cleanest awesome. state. Awesome. Uh, this is a field station that our LSS department uses, support system here all the time. There's a couple of these field stations in different areas. We also have a handheld device, and there's a big office with their whole system set up that they use to do all of their testing and all of their testing and all of their testing and their whole setup. But it tells them where's the pumps running, what's the filters at, what's the speed, what's the temperature, what's the chemical balance, all that kind of stuff is read by computers and equipment. Um, 6.3 million gallons of water to make it salt water. It's got to be 3%, but you can't just dump it in there. It doesn't work that way. So you're actually standing over a big holding tank right now. Yeah, that is, they open that up and they get those big things of salt and dump it in there. And then it mixes underneath here before wow. it gets put back in the system. right here. So this is about 10,000 uh, square foot feet of a veterinary center research area. Um, and they work with their alumni from Georgia State, or is that Georgia Tech? Okay. They work with their veterinary school over there. And it makes it really easy. A lot of these things that they have to work with, it's not something you do very well. It's not like dog-cat veterinary medicine, you know. They recently had to do a uh, cesarean on a cow nose ray. And it's only been done like twice, <laughs> so they uh, there's wow. things that they they have to be able to keep in touch with the rest of the community that deal with these types of animals to see you know what's the best way to, to save this animal okay. you know because it's not in the books wow. a lot of times. So they this is their surgical center. Wow. Um, you notice everything's on wheel so that mm -hmm. if they have to bring stuff to the animals, they can. Oh. It's not very easy to bring a beluga over here. Um, but a lot of the habitats uh -huh. are set up so that they can work with the animals on site if they don't bring them here normally. But things like sea lions, penguins, they can come here relatively okay. easy. Uh -huh. I actually saw them working with uh, the river otter really? not, not too long ago. So they'll you see, bring like, the, the sea otters. surgery be going on. Yeah. Right. Well, it wasn't. I don't think it was a surgery. It looked like a checkup. Honestly. Okay. Um, but they'll bring the uh, sea otters over for dental work and things like that. They've had uh, rescues. 
<laughs> it's a rescue and, and rehabilitation center as well. So if there was like oh a God. turtle could have been brought in so okay. that they could he, could, he looked like he'd been run over or something. So they Aww. had to repair his shell. Um, we've had a penguin who uh, the egg was stuck basically. Oh and so this was an x-ray oh. they took before they removed the egg. They had to go in surgically and remove it. Wow. Mm -hmm. So they have all the same stuff you would have normally in our kind of hospital room set up. Okay. They kind of have x-ray machine and technology, all that kind of good stuff. Nurse anesthesia, anesthesiologist. Put him to sleep. Yeah. Penguin's feeling real nice. <laughs> real nice. Feeling real nice. <laughs> <laughs> it's an interesting thing because they have, you know, they have to have certain masks set up yeah, for certain animals depending upon the animal, and then like if they're a fish or a ray or a shark. That doesn't work. They have gills. They're not right. Long, so they actually have like a liquid wow. anesthetic that Ooh. they breathe through the gills. And, yeah, it's really interesting. So with over 10 million gallons of water, we do quite a lot of water quality testing, you can imagine. This is uh, the water quality lab, and they do uh, about 5,000 water quality tests a week. Wow, that's a lot. It's a lot of water to keep track of, yes. and lots of different things that they got to make sure are sitting at the right numbers, right? So okay. they have to collect lots of samples, mm. run through lots of tests and make sure everything's the same where it's supposed to be. Okay. Wow. On this side is the uh, treatment area. So if okay. an area or if an animal looks like there's something odd yeah, about its yeah. behavior or the way it looks or how it's eating, you might bring them here for a little while so they can observe and make sure everything's yeah. okay. The last thing you want is if he wants to be sick, that yeah. they would spread exactly. everybody else yeah. in school. Um, we also have these two labs set up. So this is your analytical chemistry and your hematology and cytology labs. Um, so we have things so like blood, right? Yes, blood and cell. <laughs> She's on. <it>. She's <laughs> um, so yeah, these guys are, are able to kind of take a sample and break it down to its basic components so we can really see what's going on. They have PCR machines over here in hematology and cytology, and they can take blood samples and tissue samples and really look at what's going on under there and uh, spectrophotometry and chromatography machines that can do the same thing with other types of samples that aren't living samples. That way they can wow. make sure everything's set. And this is really awesome because we don't have to send out most of the things we do and wait for it to be brought back. We can do everything here for the most part. So yeah, that's cool. That's really helpful. It makes the process way more efficient. Uh, like if you do PCR, you have to have a, a certain solution that they call TAC to make sure that the process runs properly, but that tack can get, um, and it's not kept sterile, it gets some kind of uh, other bacteria growing in it, it messes up the whole system, you're gonna get really wonky results. So they may be like, okay, I don't know what's going on, but send this That's out and make sure idea. that if somebody else tests it, they can take it. This is our <laughs> penguin fledging pool, and over here is the incubation and chick rearing area. So we have a fairly large uh, flock of penguins, uh, these are South African penguins, so you find them uh, in Namibia and South Africa and off the coast of that area. Um, they are endangered. Ooh. They struggle mostly because uh, it's a big shipping area off the coast of Africa right there, and so a lot of their food sources has been kind of diminished, Aww. and they have to go further and further away from their nesting sites to find food. Um, also, Guano is an important product that a lot of the people in the area use to make things. And when they gather it, they were chucking through all the nests and destroying it in the process to gather it. Well, that meant that they lost a lot of eggs in the process. So their, their population uh, didn't get down in the endangered area. I think it's starting to come back. There's a lot of different organizations that kind of set up over there. Uh, and we work with them as well to try to get that population back where it needs to be. Um, so this is one of the areas when we do have new penguins, we have four this year, I believe, four oh, new okay. chicks. And so when it's time for them to learn to swim, this is where they come and hang out oh, with yeah. their aquarists. And they learn to swim over here. They got some lavender for them right now. They like, they like lavender. <laughs> hey guys, this is so bootleg. Okay, but I'm editing the video that I'm about to post right now. And, um... This video is going to be in it. I'm so sorry, like my camera cut off all of a sudden, so I didn't get all the footage, but it was so much more. It was belugas, we saw otters, we seen these fish with beaks that look like they eat something. I don't know, but we seen a lot of stuff and it was really cool. Um, I just wanted to do this video because people really don't see what goes behind the scenes of an aquarium. Um, this is the Georgia, Georgia one, but... Um, 
Tennessee one, I love the Tennessee Aquarium, really good, but people just don't see what goes on behind the scenes. Like, we just go to these attractions, go to these places, and like, say for instance, we watch movies, we don't see all the work that goes into people messing up their lines, or the lighting isn't wrong, or, or the lighting isn't right, or, you know, something like that. It's like, behind the scenes is an extra look, and it just gives you another perspective of, wow, like, this is what they do to make you know, this, this, and to make us see what's going on, you know, uh, in the aquarium and how it works and how, you know, they balance chemicals and stuff and all that. It's just a lot. So I just wanted to do this vlog because I'm like, hey, you know, that's a different look on the aquarium because people just see, you know, not behind the scenes and they just see what's in front of them and the attractions, but they don't go behind the scenes and see what really goes into, you know, making the aquarium an aquarium. So, um, yeah. Uh, sorry about the setting cutoff. My battery died and I thought my camera was dead so I was going to have a mental breakdown but I didn't because I was like, you know what, let me just finish this aquarium tour and I don't want to cry and ball up into a corner and everybody looks at me like this girl is unstable. <laughs> so I kept it together. <laughs> thank God. Um, but yeah guys, thank you for watching the video if you stuck around that long and I'll put the times down below for the people who just want to skip to see the fish and stuff because it was a lot of talking during this and you didn't see a lot of animals because like I said again, my camera cut off, we saw dolphins, we did a dolphin show, we saw a lot more and I'm just so upset like oh, the one time I have behind the scenes and my camera dies but um, at least you saw a little bit, you know, a little snippet but um, thank you for watching guys and I'll catch you on the next one. <laughs>